Okay, so as I'm planning to use uh, Sandy Bridge E CPUs on this X79 UD7, and uh, I received the motherboard with uh, the latest BIOS installed on both of the uh, BIOS chips, and the latest BIOS is uh, in initially meant for Ivy Bridge E CPUs. And generally, I've had much better experience with uh, Sandy Bridge E BIOSes with Sandy Bridge E CPUs compared to the newer BIOSes. So. Uh, there's a thing that happened in 2012 to 2013. There was like uh, some uh, change in the uh, BIOS file system. It was pretty much the same on all different vendors. So if you uh, flashed a brand new Ivy Bridge e, uh, BIOS to your motherboard, you couldn't downgrade the BIOS back to Sandy Bridge E uh, era. So we cannot use, so I can show you, we cannot use the uh, BIOS update function that's in the BIOS to flash back to the uh, older BIOS. So the uh, current BIOS at the moment is uh, it's F12F and the date is 29th of October 2013. So that's an Ivy Bridge E BIOS. So uh, if we go to the USB stick and if I try to load one of the Sandy Bridge E uh, BIOSes, it will give this error. The current BIOS image is outdated. Ask your vendor or visit Gigabyte website, so gigabyte.com, okay? So what I did was that I installed MS-DOS like boot files to an empty USB stick that has been formatted to FAT32. And on top of that, the uh, USB stick has uh, FE flash.exe program to flash the BIOS as well as the two different BIOS files. So what we will do now is that uh, we will uh, boot this USB stick. So boot override Kingston Data Traveler 3.0. Okay. Okay, we will select finish. And now if we flash x79.11e. Okay, so we uh, Using the modified fiflash.exe, it seems to be working. So let's uh, finish the whole thing and let's check once we uh, get back to the BIOS. But when I use the stock one, so the stock fiflash, which you can find from Gigabyte website, it always gave the same error pop-up screens so that the uh, current BIOS image is outdated. Please visit gigabyte.com for a newer BIOS file. So uh, seems to be working. I'll let, it, I'll let it to finish and let's see uh, how it looks like inside the BIOS. Okay, so it's currently verifying. Okay, power cycling reset. So now we should have F11e BIOS version inside the BIOS. So if this works, I will do the same thing on the backup BIOS as well. But, uh, Okay, so I'm filming the final part of this video much later in the future. So uh, for some reason, so the uh, whole procedure did actually work just fine using the unofficial uh, FE Flash program that I could find from winrate.com. But uh, when I tried to use my uh, uh, 710 or my 610 GT graphics cards because they have that BIOS readout page during the post process, right before the post process completes, as this have some very weird like 3D uh, BIOS. It, it seems there are quite a bit of compatibility issues with my graphics cards, so the already mentioned models, and my power supply with this particular uh, motherboard. So I thought that it didn't work just fine. So I thought that the whole BIOS flash actually failed. So I ended up doing this very same method or whole procedure again with the CH341A external uh, BIOS flashing uh, tool, which I already demonstrated on my uh, uh, channel earlier with the dead P5E3 Premium. So I will do this very same process with that particular tool on my next video on my channel. So the end result will be the same, but uh, if you are interested to see some more new tips for that particular tool, I actually found out some very uh, important things relating that tool, then definitely check out that video as well. But anyways, so uh, it did work just fine, so this whole thing. So uh, 
the uh, standard EFI flash, which I could find from the Gigabyte website, it didn't work. It gave that very same error pop-up screen. So uh, that the BIOS file is uh, outdated or something like that. So you need to use the unofficial one, which, uh, which can be found from winrate.com, which bypasses some of the security uh, features of the tool. So that's pretty much it. So uh, definitely good result. So I finally got this working, but uh, yeah, this motherboard has way too many compatibility issues. So when I used my old NMAX, Max Revo power supply, it's much easier to turn on this whole uh, uh, system. It doesn't turn on its, on its own, like randomly. And uh, when I used the uh, very old 6500 GT, very easy to get into the uh, uh, bars and so on. So uh, I will put the uh, all of the links uh, down in the description box of this video, like the unofficial EFI flash tool from WinRaid and for Rufus to prepare the USB stick and so on. So uh, if you like to see this video and if, if you uh, found this helpful, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.